Hey, church family. As believers, we have the confidence that God is always at work in our lives, even during times of trials. He may not cause the bad things that come our way, but he can use them to accomplish something good. How should this knowledge affect our response? Well, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 to 7, we read these words. In all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Those verses encourage us to make the choice to rejoice during difficult times. This doesn't mean we have to be happy about the trials themselves. Instead, joy comes from drawing near to God and having the confidence that God can use what we're going through for our good and for His glory. Now, the idea of rejoicing when you're faced with a negative situation might not seem logical. However, if you think about it, you'll realize that this instruction makes sense for several reasons. We know that most of the time our natural reaction to pain is to run from it as fast as possible. But God uses trials like a refining fire to purify us like gold and bring us to greater spiritual maturity. And as we realize that we're actually being formed and shaped through our adversities, we'll be able to look at them differently. In James chapter 1, the writer says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Why? Because we enjoy troubles? No. It's because when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you'll be perfect and complete, needing nothing. You and I don't get to choose the troubles we'll go through, but we can choose the way in which we'll respond to them. I pray that we'll make the choice to rejoice and cooperate with the work that God is doing in us. Keeping our eyes on the cross is the ultimate example of how God can bring something very good out of something very bad. Amen.